guys, welcome back to the DX Gamer Show and my Sim City Let's Play for our second episode on Thursday, April 11th, 2013. This episode is primarily going to focus on getting my casino infrastructure going and you know we're going to do a couple things to try to trim our budget so we don't get too out of control and of course as we're seeing here we want to get the gambling hq unlocked so we can get some of those other cooler larger probably more um valuable casinos and then we'll also be running our first event in our expo center we're going to be doing the concert which uh, i've already paid for you probably i don't know if i showed that in one of the cuts but yeah we paid for the rock concert and essentially it's supposed to make us about 150,000 plus we paid about 42,000 to have it actually happen so all in all we're probably going to make about a hundred thousand in this day uh, on that event which is pretty cool so now yet yeah, we're just uh we're on the precinct and because crime isn't quite a out of control issue quite yet we are going to shut down some of the systems in here um to try to save a little bit of cash because it's just wasteful to have all that money just going into nothing um, when it's really not really necessary so with that done we should hopefully be able to get back into a somewhat of a positive budget I'm probably gonna go ahead and build a second uh, lower tier casino that uh, is catered toward the middle wealth class so we've got that first one that's actually a low wealth but we're actually gonna cater to the mid wealth on that second one and see how that all works out and this is really cool. I like this airport. It looks really good. Pretty happy with uh, getting that out. Um, I kind of wish, after kind of looking at the uh, airport there, I wish you could go over to the launch center, like in the plot of land, and watch like the the shuttles or the rockets take off. That would be really cool. So, looks like we are getting a pretty good turnout here on our event. Looks like it's almost a full house, and it looks like the potential of our wealth is actually higher than 150 thousand which is pretty cool yep I'm liking it it's kind of neat seeing all these cars kind of pile in here and all the people running around and stuff and making their way inside that is neat I like the little uh, lights going off there and yep pretty much uh, looks like it's getting started and it sounds a lot like the simlish in the sims um, and I really loved the pop radio station in the sims 3 I can't remember if it was The Sims 3 Pets that added a whole bunch of stuff to that category. I always liked when uh, they added uh, extra music categories and more music to those categories and stuff. Um, and I just love that. And then uh, I always wanted to figure out a way to like rip the music off The Sims so I could just listen to it. Because I liked it so much. So cool. Pretty much just getting a scenic view of the city and the neighboring cities in the launch center as we listen to the Simlish Rock Concert. I'm liking it and it looks like it just finished up and we just got paid beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep scheduling this for like every day and we'll get a nice extra hundred grand boost um, and that is going to be a nice thing that happens not quite as uh, lucrative as the electronic city but with the casinos the casinos combined with that maybe maybe this might be more profitable I'm not sure so with that event wrapped up, let's go ahead and zoom over to our first casino and take a look and see how it's doing and how much money it's actually making us. So for me, there's a little bit of confusion here. So when I click on the casino, you can I can see that, okay, well, I'm making a good bit of money here. And this is a daily profit. So do I divide that number by 24 to see if that should be filtering into my hourly budget? I'm not sure I that seems like it makes sense to me uh, uh, that's how it works but I actually don't know and it's not really shown if you bring up the budget screen um, where the money's coming in where the money's going that kind of thing so I don't know <laughs> just a guess but in any case I want to get a second one going here because my first one seems to be doing good and making you know a decent amount of profit not a ton of money but a decent amount and this one is going to be effectively like I said a little bit ago a medium wealth style casino so let's go ahead and take a look at that after I extend the road here just want to give this casino a little bit more room because maybe I might need it for the upgrades although the upgrades don't expand too far it's always good to do this and then we give ourselves another uh, space to put some other stuff in but let's go ahead and take a look here so 
signs are pretty much the same. Uh, I like this one. Well, maybe I'll use the other one. Um, I don't want to plop that down first. Actually, I want to plop down the, uh, the actual building. So the nice rooms. It looks like it can only place one of these, and it can only go on the top of the casino. I find that a little strange. I don't know if you can do the low wealth ones and then the higher wealth ones in the top, maybe. Alright, so our first one here is the blackjack tables. Apparently that is for the medium wealth. And then the lounge here, which is also for the medium wealth. And it looks like we got one more thing to plop down, but I'm going to kind of hold off here for a second. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the sign. Let's do a different one we did last time. Even though they kind of say the same thing, they cost the exa exact same thing. They say they bring in the same amount of people, so I don't know... I mean, I like the option, um, just for aesthetics, like what sign you like better kind of thing. It's cool, but uh, it would be, it would add an interesting dynamic if one catered to medium wealth while one catered to low wealth. It seems like that would probably be the logical thing, but I just, I like the choice, so it's cool, man. I dig it, I dig it. Cool, so since we have both our casinos kind of centered around this particular location, I think I'm going to go ahead and nuke this particular residential zone I think it would be really cool to see hotels kind of grow up in this this area right next to these two casinos so I'm gonna go ahead and dezone this and rezone it for commercial and we're going to pretty much knock down all these buildings which is in fact going to smoke some of our income but it's okay we are actually in a positive budget right now it's probably a good idea that we earlier did that cutting down of the um, Precinct because that thing just cost a boatload of money and it was just kind of killing us there And it was it was it was uh, just kind of a waste for now. We'll, we'll get it going later And I apologize if my voice sounds a little raspy when I get in the lower tones because I was actually talking on the phone uh, With my brother for like an hour and then my friend called me. I talked to him for like another hour so uh, I did that right before I did this video and uh, I just my voice is all kind of spent right now <laughs> So I hope it's not too irritating So at this point we're pretty much just letting our two casinos gain and accumulate some daily income so that we can get that uh, Casino HQ or gambling HQ unlock and we can go ahead and place that in a second here so this is a you know just one of those moments where just a little bit of downtime as we watch the buildings you know move up and stuff and hopefully we'll get some nice cool high wealth hotels that's why I wanted to put that park right there well medium wealth anyways uh, so we can you know pretty much promote that as fast as possible and look at how fast this city's growing up if you can look past these buildings here you can see the buildings in the background we've already getting some some nice nice sized buildings. So after a little bit, I did get my uh, gambling HQ unlock, and we're going to go ahead and place that near where our city hall and expo center are. And with this, it gives us the ability to place down some of the cooler casinos. But that sign's looking pretty epic, so we're going to have to place that thing and take a look at it like I usually do, because I don't think I've ever seen this building before. I like the poker chip style sign on the top there, pretty cool. Man, the artists for uh, this game were really good. This game just looks beautiful in places. It's just absolutely great. And with the HQ placed, I was eager to take a look and see what my options are. So I got the Sci-Fi Casino here for 120000 and 1125 per hour. The Sleek Casino, 140000 and minus 1500 per hour. That's kind of expensive. And the Ultra Big here, Elegant Casino, for 300000 minus 6000 per hour. And that is a high wealth casino. Um, I'm going to go in the middle of the road here, which might be a mistake. I probably should do the Sci-Fi one first, but we're actually going to do the middle one here. I'm really hoping that the synergies between the two cities and the launch center kind of pay off and uh, make this successful. All right, and as I uh, said before, I knew that that space in here would probably be too small because these buildings are pretty big. And then we're going to have, obviously, the tourism buildings and stuff. We'll have to figure that out in a little bit. Um, not this episode. We're pretty much going to place this casino down, and it's pretty much going to be near the end of this episode. But we'll go ahead and take a look through this and see what is what. That is pretty cool looking. I love all the lights, and I love when you click on the casinos and you hear the little 
thing going on. It, it reminds me of being in Vegas. If you guys have ever been to Vegas, man, I love uh, going to the casinos and hearing that like low-level town t- tone. I'm sure if you're from there, you're like, oh, ugh, no, thank you, sick of that. But if you're just a silly tourist like me that like gets to go and see that or whatever for like you know the first time or whatever, I get all you know giddy and you know get all childlike and oh this is cool, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, Vegas is cool, man. I like it. Makes me think of uh, the couple of shows that I actually went to. One of the things that I think was popular at the time when I went um, several years back was like the Blue Man Group, and I went and did one of those shows. And I heard like uh, Circus Circus is amazing, but I actually didn't get to attend that show and that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, this just makes me think of that because all that stuff is really neat, uh, and you got to kind of splurge a little bit and you know buy some of those tickets and stuff even though they're <laughs> they're atrociously expensive let's be honest um they're still pretty cool they're 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 fun things to do so this one has some pretty neat upgrades and i oh wow i really like this that's a cool that, that actually makes the casino look pretty awesome um i'm liking this i'm liking this well that's pretty much it for our second thursday episode Thank you for watching the DX Gamer Show and my SimCity Let's Play. I'll see you guys next time for our Friday episodes. See you later. Take care and have a great day.